Welcome back to Land the House. Years ago, I made a video showing that installing a spring valve into the delivery pipe of a ram pump can actually increase the flow rate and the height potential of the pump. And the reason for this is because it relieves some of the pressure on the pump. Uh, the concept is kind of like a giraffe's neck. The heart pumps blood up the neck and a series of one-way valves keeps the water from, or the blood from uh, pulling all the way back down to the heart. So anyway, the thought is I'm going to install two of these with the spring removed and see if I can increase this flow rate and that way also increasing the height. So I've got a little jug here and I put some tape so I can measure how long it takes to get up to this. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set under here and then wait and see how long it takes for this water to reach that line. Because the thought is if I increase the flow rate by reducing the weight on the pump then I will be able to um, have a faster flow rate up here at the top. So let's see what we got here. So it took roughly 30 seconds to get to this line. So what we can do is start installing these two check valves one at a time and see if it will increase the flow rate here. The first test is going to be here at the 100 foot oppose mark. So I'm just going to separate this, install the valve, and go measure again, see what happens. Now I'm kind of predicting that the pump's going to stop when I relieve all of this pressure here. Just have to see. Yeah, killed the pump. Okay, time for test two and begin. So currently, um, I misspoke it. I misspoke earlier. The line is actually at 200 feet of hose. I'm not exactly sure of the elevation, but at least we'll know that it's consistent between uh, the two tests here. Okay, so previously I measured that it was, it took uh, 34 seconds to fill, and this time it only took 29 seconds to fill. So it actually has increased the potential some. Now what I want to do is install the, um, uh, the second check valve at the pump and see if that's going to increase anything. So this is 100 feet into the 200 foot section. So once again this is going to kill the pump. But not sure why that water is so dirty. All right, second valve has been installed. Let's see if it has improved the flow rate any. So the previous the very first uh, check valve said that it has improved by uh, five seconds. So we'll see if this second one helps any at all. And there we go at 30. So it looks like that second valve has not helped any. Oops. Yeah. So, so far we've got uh, the original test was about 34 or 35 seconds. Second test was 30 seconds, third test, 30 seconds. So uh, what I want to do now is move the valve all the way to the pump and see if that makes a difference. And uh, so it may just be that one check valve is all you need to improve the flow rate. All right, so I'm gonna shut off this valve and then take this hose off of here be a lot of water coming back down this pipe. Okay. There we go. Okay, now with the check valve at the pump, it's time to test out this water. So let's see what we get here. See if there's any change in the 
time it takes to fill this section. So with that valve all the way back down at the beginning, it's almost the same as when it was uh, the very original test. So uh, about 32 or so seconds. So my thoughts on doing this, one valve seems to work pretty good about halfway up in the height. Um, it increased the flow rate um, five seconds here, which is pretty decent. One note that I made was that having this much back pressure in the pipe made it a lot easier to start the pump back again um, because it had back pressure on it and didn't have to fill the entire drive uh, delivery pipe from the beginning. So that was definitely a plus. One downside would be if it's winter time and you have this much water in your pipe, it's gonna freeze and be an issue. So do consider that. But one valve is good. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land of House and I will see you in the next video.